There are many engineers, artists, and scientists in our crowd. What is it about you or who alone that resulted in solving problems that otherwise would have been solved? You know, there were books and books, and there were people that were trained in designing things like computers, coming up with the circuits, and they knew the methods, and they copied the way it had been done in the past. And people who have a technique and a, and a habit, they are the ones who are hired to be engineers. They've done it before, and they follow all the procedures, or they do, at least do, even if they're a fresh engineer, they do what was in the books, what they've learned. I had a lifetime. They talk about you having 10,000 hours to get very skilled in something. I put those 10,000 hours in from elementary school on. Incredible projects that were equivalent of master's projects in college. And I just did it for fun. I built these huge things. I got through steps and steps and steps of my learning. I, by high school, I could design any computer in two days. So this was very unusual stuff. I didn't even think I'd ever have a job designing computers. I just did it for fun. And uh, so I forget what the question was. But <laughs> <laughs> so when you first when you first generated a question or a uh, character on a screen, did you realize how revolutionary it would be? Uh, yeah, I was in a computer club, and it was the first club that was called a computer club in the world. But really, it was more about people who barely knew computers, but they wanted one for themselves, and a lot of them were driven by the social outcomes, the social revolution. We had Stanford professors in our club and Berkeley professors in our club, and they would talk to us about how these computers were going to lead to incredible communication, where you could type a message, and in one hour, 100 people could read it. <laughs> and I was, my job was to do And they talked about someday, people, you would have education where students got instantly corrected, and the computer was like a teacher. And whoa, that was scary stuff. You know, these kids are going to be smarter than us. And we talked about how the little geek would go into his company, type some financial numbers in, run a program, and crank out the strategies for the company and be more important than the CFO. And I felt good, the little geek that's always unnoticed is going to be so important. So I wanted to contribute my part by designing a computer that was good for that. And what was the question? <laughs> Get me back on. Uh, basically, just whether you realize how revolutionary that first part of Oh, how revolutionary. Oh, my gosh. Well, my styles of design, I could, have a whole bunch of other people, young group couples of people like me and Steve Jobs, were trying to start companies based around a microprocessor and the right pricing to build a big box that was called a computer. However, these big boxes were all difficult to use, designed by the old methods, and they were all being copied the Intel data sheets that showed how to make a microprocessor device. And they were all using expensive memories, expensive approaches. They were not going to make a decent computer. The computers that they were trying to offer it called computers, little microprocessor kits that couldn't even run a program for you, couldn't do anything useful until you put tons more money in, like buying a big old teletype you could type on for the cost of a car. I had built that computer five years before. Right when I met Steve Jobs, I was building one of my own with that, that same capability. So I was five years past that. I wanted things that people could use and relate to and were human. And the idea that you type on a keyboard and see it on your television was, was instrumental. Um, I knew that this was um, um, a huge, huge step ahead of what everyone else was doing at the time, even though I gave it away because I wanted to help the revolution happen. Have you been surprised by the success of any of your inventions? Well, I've been surprised by the success. There's one that you didn't think would be, but it's not. Uh, no, every, every device, everything I worked on in those days, I was like taking, you know, coming up with an architecture for a building and then building it, knowing the pieces of lumber to build it with the parts that were available and doing a very, very good, efficient job. But then you want to add some rooms, and I would add a room that was a pool, and then I would add a room that was was maybe a game room. And add to a building, well, I was adding these things called like, peripherals to computers that would let them use printers and better displays and more memory and those kind of things. All these little additions connecting the sensors to modems to floppy disks. So uh, every job I did was an A plus, so I never really, <laughs> yeah, I never, I never really saw anything fail. The press was so behind Apple, 